This is self-isolation in St. Petersburg. Unlike Moscow, which unexpectedly lifted lockdown earlier this week, the city is only due to ease restrictions on Monday. But St. Petersburg has never been like Moscow. Always windier, a little colder, and generally a lot more relaxed. No surprise that it's only here there's an actual physical tribute to the city's lost health workers tacked on to a construction site. Irina Maslova put up the first nine photographs at the end of April and she keeps adding more. Over here we have the health department. That's why the wall is opposite them. It is the very governmental structure responsible for the health and lives of these very people. Actually, for the health of all the people in this city. And I want them to see these photos from their windows every day. St. Petersburg's COVID response was less well managed than Moscow's. Fewer beds, longer ambulance queues, whole hospitals locked down, the virus rife inside. We found it hard to find health workers who speak openly. It's quite likely that I'll stir up a hornet's nest and people will say, yes, we have bad PPE, we don't have enough doctors, we lack the staff. Yes, we don't get the money we deserve for this work, but it's not right to talk about it. You should just keep silent and get on with your work. Liev Averbach, who runs one of the city's private ambulance services, says medical personnel are preparing for a second wave. Almost all the hospitals in the city are full. Probably the number of patients who have COVID is not so big in St. Petersburg, but there are many cases. And they're mentioned in the official data of COVID-like pneumonias which in most cases are caused by the COVID infection. We follow one of his ambulances to a case. Turns out not to be COVID, and the staff are all fairly relaxed, as is everyone else. On a day the St. Petersburg governor polls residents online about which restrictions they want lifted first, starting with children's playgrounds, they're already crawling with people. This pandemic isn't over. With half a million cases, it isn't anywhere near over. President Putin doesn't want this lockdown ended just because of the economy, for the sake of the small business owners of Moscow and St. Petersburg. It's because of this vote. A vote on changing the constitution and zeroing the presidential term count. President Putin's approval ratings have taken a massive COVID-related hit. But with Russia Day this Friday and the Victory Day Parade the week after next, summer sun and pageantry are a barefaced pitch to win them back. Diana Magne, Sky News, St. Petersburg.